Chapter 1. The Impending Question How often do we pause to contemplate the impact our actions have on our planet's future? A sobering question, isn't it? As we navigate our daily lives, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. The grand tapestry that is our world, our environment, and our shared future. Climate change is no longer a distant threat looming on the horizon. It's here, knocking at our doorstep. It's a complex issue, with many contributing factors from industrial pollution to deforestation and even our daily habits. The consequences? They're far-reaching and profound, affecting everything from weather patterns to biodiversity. But this isn't just a story of doom and gloom. It's also a story of hope, of resilience, and of the power of collective action. Yet, we find ourselves at a crossroads, a moment in time where our actions, or inactions, will shape the future of our planet. The clock is ticking, and the question remains, are we doing enough? Chapter 2. The Power of Dark Motivation Interestingly, fear, guilt, and other dark motivations often play a critical role in sparking environmental action. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is dark motivation? Well, it's quite simple, yet deeply fascinating. Dark motivation refers to the psychological concept where negative emotions such as fear, guilt, and even anger can act as powerful catalysts for change. So, how does this play out in the context of climate change? Let's dive a little deeper. Picture this. You're watching a documentary about the devastating impacts of deforestation. The images of scorched earth, the stories of displaced wildlife, and the stark reality of how our actions contribute to these scenes strike a chord within you. You feel a pang of guilt, a twinge of fear. This is dark motivation at work. This isn't just a theory, mind you. Numerous research studies back this up. For instance, a study published in the journal Environmental and Resource Economics found a significant relationship between feelings of guilt and pro-environmental behavior. Another study in the Journal of Environmental Psychology discovered that fear Specifically, fear of environmental destruction can motivate people to adopt more sustainable practices. Dark motivation isn't about wallowing in negativity, far from it. Instead, it's about harnessing these powerful emotions and channeling them into positive action. It's about turning the guilt you felt watching the deforestation documentary into planting a tree or transforming your fear of environmental destruction into advocating for greener policies in your community. But here's an important note. While dark motivation can be a potent tool, it's crucial to balance it with hope and positivity. After all, continuous exposure to negative emotions without any hope for change can lead to despondency and inaction. So yes, Let's recognize the power of dark motivation, but let's also remember to offer solutions. To provide hope and to celebrate the small victories along the way. So, could leveraging dark motivation be a key to accelerating climate action? In the grand scheme of things, it might just be one of the many keys we need to unlock a sustainable future. Chapter 3. Real Life Success Stories Across the globe, individuals and communities are harnessing their dark motivations to make significant strides against climate change. Let's delve into some of these inspiring real-life stories. In the heart of Africa, a young woman named Amina transformed her guilt about the deforestation in her local community into a powerful force for change. Amina initiated a tree-planting campaign rallying her community to plant over 10,000 trees in less than a year. Her fear of losing their lush landscapes became the fuel for an initiative that not only restored the greenery,
but also instilled a new sense of environmental responsibility among her community members. Halfway across the world, in the bustling city of Tokyo, a man named Hiroshi turned his growing concern about plastic waste into a revolutionary recycling initiative. Hiroshi created a system to incentivize recycling, using rewards to encourage citizens to separate their waste. His unique approach has since been adopted by several other cities in Japan, proving that guilt and fear can indeed spark innovative solutions to environmental problems. Then there's the story of the small coastal town of Helsingborg in Sweden. The townsfolk, alarmed by the rising sea levels threatening their homes, decided to take action. They transformed their fear into a community-wide project to build natural sea barriers using local vegetation. This project not only protects their town, but also promotes biodiversity, turning a fearful situation into a win-win for the people and the environment. In the sun-drenched terrains of Australia, a farmer named Jack used his guilt over the water scarcity issues in his region to innovate. Jack developed a water-saving irrigation system that uses significantly less water than traditional methods. His fear of a future without water led him to create a solution that now helps hundreds of other farmers in the region conserve water. And finally, let's travel to the vibrant city of Mumbai, India, where a group of teenagers turned their guilt about the city's air pollution into a powerful campaign. They leveraged social media to raise awareness about the issue and encouraged citizens to reduce their carbon footprint. Their fear of living in a polluted city spurred them into action, demonstrating the power that even the youngest among us have to affect change. Each of these stories showcases the transformative power of dark motivations. From a single individual to an entire community, from Africa to Asia, from Europe to Australia. People are using their fears and guilt to drive positive change in the fight against climate change. These stories are not just about climate action. They are about hope, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. They remind us that even in the face of fear and guilt, we have the power to shape our destiny and protect our planet. These stories are a testament to the power of channeling our emotions into positive action. Chapter 4. The Role of Each Individual While the challenge is global, the solutions start with us, the individuals. In this vast and interconnected world, the weight of climate change can seem overwhelming. Yet, it's essential to remember that each one of us holds a piece of the puzzle in our hands. We all have a role to play in this grand narrative of environmental action. Consider this every choice we make, every product we buy, every journey we embark on leaves a footprint on our planet. From the food we eat to the clothes we wear, our daily decisions shape the world around us. So, how can we ensure that our footprints tread lightly, causing minimal harm to our environment? Firstly, we can choose to consume consciously by opting for locally sourced and sustainably produced goods. We support businesses that prioritize the environment and help reduce transportation emissions. Secondly, we can strive to minimize waste. Composting kitchen scraps, recycling where possible and reusing items can go a long way in reducing the waste that ends up in our landfills and oceans. Thirdly, we can opt for cleaner energy sources. Whether it's choosing a green energy provider or installing solar panels on our rooftops, these decisions can significantly reduce our carbon emissions. Finally, we can use our voices and our votes by supporting policies and politicians that prioritize climate action we send a clear message about what matters to us. It's easy to feel like a single person's actions can't make a difference. Yet, imagine if each one of us all seven and a half billion individuals on this planet 
made even one of these changes. The ripple effect would be immense, proving that small actions, when multiplied, can lead to significant results. So, let's begin today. Let's make choices that respect our planet, choices that inspire others to do the same. Let's create a wave of change, one action at a time. After all, the future of our planet is in our hands. And it's up to us to ensure that it's a future worth fighting for. Remember, every action counts. Your contribution matters. Chapter 5. The Call to Action Now, as we understand the power of dark motivation and the role of individual action, what will you do? We've traversed an intriguing journey today, delving into the depths of human psychology and the mysterious influence of dark motivation on climate action. We've seen how the fear of loss, the dread of regret, and the desperation to protect what we hold dear can drive us to make changes that we never thought possible. These emotions, often perceived as negative, can indeed be a powerful force for positive change. But remember, harnessing this dark motivation is not a solitary fight. It's a collective effort, an amalgamation of individual actions. Whether it's something as simple as switching to energy-efficient appliances, or as grand as mobilizing a community towards sustainable practices, every step makes a difference. Let's not underestimate the power of one. One person, one action, one change at a time can set off a ripple effect that can alter the course of our environmental future. We've also explored inspiring stories of individuals and communities who've taken up the challenge and are making a real difference. If they can, why can't we? Remember, the protagonist of these success stories could be any one of us. All it takes is the will to make a change and the courage to take the first step. So, what's your story going to be? How will you harness your dark motivation for the betterment of our planet? We'd love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, your initiatives. Share them in the comments below. Let's create a space for discussion, for collaboration, for inspiration. Remember, every action, regardless of size, is a step towards a sustainable future. Every effort, no matter how small, contributes to the larger goal of combating climate change. Every individual, including you and me, has a role to play in this global endeavor. Our planet's future rests in our hands. Let's make every action count.